Hello everybody, it's Basilis here, and welcome back to another episode of Infinite Skies. And today, what I'd like to get into is to start on the last of the magic mods that we haven't explored yet, which is Blood Magic. And the first thing we're going to have to do for that is obviously get the Blood Altar. This guy here. So, to do that, we have to make a couple more um, alchemical furnaces. I'm actually going to make two blood altars, and the reason for that is I want to set up a a little system where one blood altar is where I gather the blood, and that will have an automated blood um, mob killing system and so on to get the blood, and that's going to then store the blood, and the other one is going to pump into that, and that's where I'll do my crafting. I've done it that way before, and I think it works really well, so I'm I'm going to do that again. So we're going to need two blood altars. We need these altars from Witchery, which are not too bad at all. Um, Breath of the Goddess is birch saplings, so let's get some of that started. Uh, birch saplings. We're going to need some more clay jars. If you've noticed, I've moved the um, uh, witchery stuff over here. I also made some fume funnels to make it quicker to get the uh, fumes that we need out of this. What else do we need for our blood altar? We need... Okay, so that's the exhale of a horned one I think I've got. Stone bricks, rowan wood. Um, we're also going to need an attuned stone, which needs a whiff of magic and mana diamonds. Whiff of magic is rowan saplings. Now, I'm pretty sure I've got those as well. I actually grew a whole lot of these um, manually. I'll just do half a stack of those ones. Let's see how we're going. Yeah, we've got some of those. I'll wait for those ones to be done. Uh, rowan wood. Need some of that. Stone. Stone, we need... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't remember how many of these I'll need in total, so we'll just go with that for now. Uh, bottles of water. Um... Let's do it in here so I don't have to worry about those stacking. There, there. Exhale of a horned one. Those around the wrong way. There we go. So we need four of those for each of the blood altars. So that's for the blood altars. We're also going to need two by three so another six for the uh, witchery altar so I may as well get those now okay drop those in there we'll get use those ones later we're going to need um, for alchemical furnace go furnace more of these stone arcane stone blocks more crucibles and more furnaces. So if we come over here, my wand's still in there, we should be able to put now, is it this way around or the other way? Most likely the way that I don't put it. I oh, know that's it's that way. So let's make all of that and we have run out of V. Now, the way I have been collecting... Well, that's interesting. It showed them in there, but they weren't actually in there. Ah, it was the number that it would have made if it had enough V. So the way I have been collecting my V so far has been down here at the mob farm. Basically, if I just stand here as they die, then my wand will slowly fill up with... V. But let's go do it the other way. 
because this takes a little bit of time. Let's go find some nodes. So, since we're in a um, void world, all the nodes are right down near the void. So, I need my thermometer for this. Let's go down until we get to, and this is a, it's a good idea to use your um, coordinates for this, because otherwise it's really hard to see when you're getting close to the void. It's also very good to have a backpack that doesn't drift down. So now, okay, there is a node there. Well, okay, so that's a good air, water, and uh, pedito, pedito node. Now we can damage uh, nodes at the moment. We don't have a research that stops us from doing that. So let's see, what's this one? Water and Terra. So I'll fill up a couple more of my aspects. How am I going anyway? I need some, basically just fire. I'll find a fire node and meet you back up there with the alchemical furnaces made. Okay, we've got some whiff of magic coming through now and we need a mana we're going to need some mana ingots anyway, but we need mana diamond. We don't have any. This shouldn't be a problem. Drop a couple of these guys into our mana pool over here. One, two. We will need uh, some buckets. Two of those to get some lava. Plenty of lava just down here. I really need to get this put into my AE system so that I can fill up a bucket wherever I am. But we've got that now. Let's make ourselves some attuned stones. So that's like that, and that, and whiff of magic. There we go, two attuned stones. We also needed some living wood slabs, like so. What did I do with those slabs? Slab. That goes on top, the attuned stone, the alchemical furnace. These go down the sides. And what was up there? Let's see. Oh no, those go up there and then the mana steel goes there. Two blood altars. Good stuff. Well, that's going well so far. We've got our blood altars. So we can actually get started with blood magic. So now the next thing that we're going to need is a sacrificial orb. This guy here. And how do we make that? A mana pearl with blood put on top of it. Okay, a mana pearl is no problem at all. We just need a ender pearl. Which it's actually, we don't have a lot of them. I need to sort out my end, probably set up an enderman farm very soon because we need need that. So an ender pearl, and then we need to pour blood on top of it, which we do in a smeltery. So blood starts with a B. There we go. Blood, not that one. This one here. Probably the best way, I mean, this gives us a hundred millibuckets per bloodstained block. And a bloodstained block you can make with rotten flesh 
and smooth sandstone or raw beef well all of my rotten flesh is actually going straight into dirt production at the moment so raw beef I do have some of um, was it smooth sandstone don't have but I do have sandstone craftable a hundred millibuckets each I'll need ten of these ten and go down to our our uh, smeltery down here take that off put the mana pill on and put our bloodstain blocks in there now I've actually turned off the smelting down here I think that was a big part of um, the lag that I was getting as I turn this on I'm noticing a lot more lag right now as well so um, I definitely think that is a big part of it. So that should now make us our sacrificial orb, which is going to, I guess, drop into here. There we go, sacrificial orb. And I can right click that and it takes some of my health. And if I was next to a um, blood altar, it would go into the blood altar. So, something you'll notice is I don't have that much health. I only have one line of one line of health bars. So, I think it's about time that we look into heart canisters. These guys. Now, to make the yellow ones, we're going to need red ones anyway. So, I want to make ten of these, which means I need... I mean, twenty of those. So, twenty jeweled apples there is a lot of diamonds but I should have a lot in there there we go put those in and then I should be able to make empty canisters um, I have a recipe works for me yeah 20 of those now can we make 10 20 sweet Drop 10 back in. Yellow. I need these guys. 10 of them. <laughs> so, 80 blocks of gold. Not a problem. 10 yellow heart canisters. So, with this, I can now put those in and those in and I will now have a maximum of um, 30 hearts which should come up over time so my blood magic stuff is going to go over this side here well my main altar is going to go over here I'll, there are other blood magic things that I'll probably do in that area in between here and Thumbcraft but for right now, let's put down, oh, let's use some stone, um, so this line's for center, and so right now I think we're going to try to get as quickly as possible to a level 2 altar, so we need to put that up there, and now if I put some blood in, See, there's some blood in there. So to get to a level 2 altar, we will need to get some uh, runes. These guys, blood runes, which need blank slates, which require an arcane stone block in the blood altar with a thousand LP. Okay. Let's put one of these in. I don't know how many LP I've already got in there. I need to get the divination sigil, is it? Yes, I need to get the divination sigil to be able to see how much is in there. And what does that take to get? 
uh, mana glass, nitre, a blank slate, and a blood orb. A printer's blood orb works. That's another thing that we probably want to get, a blood orb. So, weak blood orb is mana diamond into the blood altar with 2000 LP. Okay. Let's go do that. Okay, here we go. We should hopefully have enough um, blood in there to get this. I got myself some more of these hearts, which I can eat to restore some health. So that will come in handy. There we go. It gives me the ability to put some more blood in there. And this should make us our weak blood orb. There we go, weak blood orb. Sweet, now I've got to bind that to me. And now let's actually go for that divination sigil. So that's divination. We need to get nitre. I've got a blank slate, I've got a orb, and the weak one does work. That was in the list. And I've got mana glass, so we need to get some nitre. Like that. Put that on top. We need to whack that with our wand. There we go. And I'm going to need a bucket of water. Bucket of water in there. Now to make nitre. We need... Nitre. Nitre. Here we go. We need to put glowstone into a crucible, which has got three potentia, three... Ignis and three Lux. So what I've got here is some aluminium or aluminum which has got Ignis and Potentia and then Glowstone which has got Lux. So if I put this in and then the Glowstone and then some more Glowstone then we'll get four Nitre. And we're probably going to make a mess when we do this. Shift right click, and now I need to get rid of that stuff. There we go. Remove that, and what mess? There's no mess. Anyway, we have mana steel down the side, a blank slate. A nitre, drop the rest in there, and our uh, orb. There we go. Divination sigil. We have got it. So now we can come here and we can right click that and it says we've got a tier 1 altar with 5200 LP. Well, we are going to need. To make the um, next tier, we're going to need 8 of these, which means 16 of these blank slates, which means 16,000 LP. So I'm going to gather those together, and then we will get on to making our uh, blood runes. So the only thing that we don't have yet to make the uh, blood runes is this waystone. And how do we get that? Flint into the mana pool gives us four. Well, that's simple. Seems like the most simple part of this. There we go. Let's go across to our mana pool. Drop those in. There we go, a whole stack of waystones. And now, let's make ourselves a tier 2 altar. So, that goes like this, and stone around the corners, like so. We need a shard of any type. 
and then our weak blood orb in the middle and we can make eight of these blood runes sweet so now I can put these around here like that and we have a tier 2 altar well wow, that's pretty cool so to get up to the next tier we have quite a lot more to do and I'd like to get some automation um, started on this before we do that so you can automatically put items into a blood altar and take them out so that is what I am going to do I think we can also now make the um, dagger of sacrifice which is used to kill mobs um, that's in a level 2, it's an Athana, which we can make. So, getting some sort of simple mob system up here to start getting uh, LP rather than using the Sacrificial Orb is probably something I wanted to do very early on. Um, so, that will be the next thing I do. But, that'll be all for this episode. I think we're doing pretty well. We've got a tier 2 altar and a good start into blood magic. We also have what we need to make the witchery altar now as well. So, yeah, getting into there and all the magic mods. That will be all for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again next time uh, where we will go up a tier or two in blood magic and probably do something else in witchery or thumbcraft as well. Until next time, take care, I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you again later. Bye! Mm -hmm.